Father Kevin, I wonder if you could uh, explain for us uh, who is able to become a Catholic priest in Australia? Well, the rules are the same throughout the world. A Catholic priest can only be a celibate man. It's the Catholic priest, isn't it, that celebrates the Mass in the yes. church. What is the Mass? The Mass is the recollection of Jesus' Last Supper with his disciples in which he told them to do this in memory of me. And Catholics throughout the world, throughout history, have continued to gather for that celebration of the Eucharist to give thanks to Jesus for having made that sacrifice for us. And what does it involve? It involves the uh, consecration of bread and wine and through the prayers of the priest it becomes the body and blood of Jesus. And we share that in what we call communion and which people are invited to attend if they fit into the restrictions that the Catholic Church applies to them. Who is allowed to take communion? A person who has um, reached the age of reason and has celebrated the sacrament of Eucharist for the first time is able to come to communion and a person who is considered to be in a state of grace. And what is the state of grace? Well, the state of grace is the absence of mortal sin and uh, the church uh, declares that certain things are mortal sin based on the Ten Commandments. And so people in that state of sin aren't able to approach the Eucharist. So is it commonly the case when you're in a church that there will be a number of people who are Catholic who continue to sit in the pews and don't come up to celebrate the Mass? There are. For instance, people who have been married before and haven't received an annulment and have sec uh, taken up a second marriage. People who are homosexual, people who are actively homosexual, or people who are what they call public sinners. Somebody who's renounced some teaching of the church or apostatized, moved to another religion, they're not able to receive communion. So then you must have people in your church who sit there week in, week out without celebrating the Mass. They do. Well, they celebrate the Eucharist. They feel in their hearts that they've participated in the Eucharist. They just haven't received communion or made that, that acknowledgement of Jesus' presence with them. And did you, when you were the Catholic priest at, at Glenmore Park, did you give Mass to people or did you celebrate the Mass with people who perhaps strictly weren't in that state of grace, who you knew to have been married before and not received an annulment, or you knew to be having sexual adventures outside their marriage, that kind of thing? Yeah, and I encourage them to participate in the Eucharist, because I believe Jesus said, come to me, all you who are labour, labour and are heavily burdened, and I'll give you rest. I encourage them to participate and to receive that Eucharist, which Jesus was going to give them strength to help them live their Christian life. How did they react to the, to the fact that you were willing to do that, when other priests clearly would, would not? Well, I've felt that a lot of priests have made the Eucharist something that has become a barrier to people coming closer to